Uh, my name is Michael Simmons. I'm 52 years old. I've lived in Blackpool for 22 years now. I came to the A&E department about six weeks ago when I'd slipped and hurt the back of my leg. It, it, it felt like a tear or a rip or something in the hamstring area and I was seen at the A&E and they forwarded me on then for um, physiotherapy. Um, the, the, it turned out that there was a, a tear in my hamstring and there was a blood clot behind it. On arrival at the A&E, the reception staff were efficient, polite, courteous, uh, checked all my records were correct that they had, which was great. I was seen within a relatively short period of time. Obviously, I accept that, that emergency cases take priority. I wouldn't say there was an extended delay in being seen. And in the A&E section, it was fantastic. They did all the checks that you would expect, and perhaps more, I think. All of the staff treated you with respect and dignity. They would uh, either call you Mr or by your first name. I think you kind of had a choice how you wish to be addressed. I'm happy enough to be addressed by my first name. And they were polite and they were informative, which is the most important thing. I think the most important thing for a patient is to know what's going on. And I was kept fully informed throughout the time. The um, A&E reception area is is comfortable. Um, it's it's no better, no worse than, than any area you would expect. Once you go through into the A&E area, um, I found it to be very clean, um, very serviceable, and, and everything that they needed for me seemed to be very much at hand. I was impressed with the, the information that I was asked regarding how I'd had the injury. I was impressed with the information I was given once they discovered what the injury was. I was impressed with how quickly I was referred to physiotherapy and how efficient the physiotherapy department were in conjunction with the A&E to get the problem right. And the whole way through, from, from coming through the doors at A&E to, to being discharged, I've been fully kept informed of everything that was happening. If there's been a, any amendments to the appointments by me or even by the staff, it's been dealt with efficiently and it's been smooth. I, I think this hospital, uh, and I've, I've, I've been in many hospitals since I was about 14, I've had a million visits to hospitals. I've had fractured skulls, I've had um, ripped quadriceps, I've had gastric bypass operation, and this, I have to say, ranks amongst the best experiences I've had in any hospital, and that includes the private sector and the national health all over the country. If, if I had a criticism, I am the kind of person that would tell you what the criticism was, but I really don't have one. I, I cannot fault my experience of, of the Blackpool Victoria Hospital one bit. I'd like to personally thank the, the two people that I've been heavily involved with regarding my experience. Uh, in the A&E department, it was, it was Mr Anthony Kearns, who was, who was super efficient and, and kept me fully informed right through. And in the physiotherapy department, the receptionist Joanne was wonderful, always polite, always smiling. And Deirdre, who looked after me in the physiotherapy, was absolutely wonderful with her care and attention to the detail. And I think without that team, I don't think that I would have, I would have got through as quickly the injury that I had.